I copied the exact same chat GPT text and pasted it into eight different AI detectors. And guess what? Every single one gave completely different results. GPT-0 said it's 100% AI. Turnitin said it's 50-50, and CopyLeaks called it human-written. So I went down the rabbit hole to test every free AI humanizer to see which one actually beats these detectors. If you've ever tried to pass AI detectors after using ChatGPT, you already know how painful it is. You edit, rephrase, and still get caught. The truth is, most detectors are inconsistent, and many humanizers don't work at all. So I decided to find out what's real and what's just hype. I ran multiple tests using tools like GPT-0, CopyLeaks, Winston AI, and even Turnitin, then compared free versus paid humanizers side by side. Some results will surprise you. A few free tools even beat the premium ones. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly why ChatGPT text gets caught, which AI detectors are accurate, and which free humanizers secretly fool them. I'll even show you the manual method I use to make text sound fully human and reveal the one tool that's never failed me. Let's get started. Now, open ChatGPT and generate a content or research essay. For me, the essay is sodium balance and disorders. You can generate scripts or other things. Wait for a minute after copy the text and check for AI detection. Which AI detection tool is the best? Well, you can say this one is best because most of them show different results. Let's compare the results of AI detections across 10 different AI tools, both free and paid versions. The first one under free AI detectors is GPT-0, one of the most popular AI content detectors out there, mainly used in academic settings. After running my content through it, here's what happened. It labeled my text as 100% AI generated, Here's the breakdown GPT-0 gave me. For the AI-generated part, it flagged sentences like this one. Roughly two-thirds is reabsorbed in the proximal tubule, driven by basolateral Na+, K+, ATPase, and another 25% in the thick ascending limb of the loop of Henle. Only small fractions, 5-10% in the distal tubule, approximately 2% in the collecting duct, are reabsorbed under fine hormonal control. And here's why it thought this was written by AI. Overly formal tone. The structure was too polished and academic. Mechanical transitions. It used linking phrases too smoothly, almost perfectly. Technical jargon. Words like basolateral Na+, K+, ATPase gave it a robotic precision. And others. Then I tried a second AI detector, Quillbot AI detector, this one is mainly built for writers who already use editing tools. It allows up to 1200 words per scan with unlimited scans, and it's integrated with Quillbot's full suite of features, like the paraphraser and grammar checker. When I ran the exact same text through Quillbot's detector, the result was completely different. It said 0% of text is likely AI. Human written is 100%. That was surprising. Two detectors, same content, totally opposite results. But Quillbot also gave a disclaimer worth noting. Our AI detector flags text that may be AI generated. Use your best judgment when reviewing results. Never rely on AI detection alone to make decisions that could impact someone's career or academic standing. That part really stood out to me because it shows how even the tools themselves admit the uncertainty behind AI detection. One detector confidently says 100% AI, another says 100% human. So in reality, AI detection isn't absolute, it's interpretive. Then I decided to test the fourth free AI detector, Grammarly AI Detector. Unlike the others, Grammarly's tool is built directly into its writing assistant, meaning it scans your text in real time as you type, across apps, browsers, and documents. Here's what Grammarly told me. 14% of this text appears to be AI generated. It even tried to pinpoint where AI might have been used within the content, not claiming the whole text was AI, but suggesting that some portions had patterns similar to AI writing. So now after testing three different free AI detectors, 
GPT-0, 100% AI, Quillbot, 0% AI, and Grammarly, 14% AI, I realized something important. These tools don't agree at all. Each uses its own algorithm, its own definition of AI-like writing. Then I moved on to the paid AI detectors, the ones designed for educators, publishers, and institutions where content integrity actually matters. The first one I tested was Winston AI, a tool built mainly for educators and team collaboration. It costs $12 per month on the annual plan and comes with useful extras like OCR support, Google Classroom integration, and a reputation for high accuracy in academic contexts. After analyzing my text, Winston AI gave me this result. 99% human. The content closely matches human linguistic structures and nuances. We are highly confident it was written by a human. It even tried to pinpoint where AI might have been used within the content, not claiming the whole text was AI, but suggesting that some portions had patterns similar to AI writing. So now after testing three different premium AI detectors, unlike free and premium tools, I realized something important about these detectors. They don't agree at all. Next, I tested another paid detector, CopyLeaks. This one is widely used in enterprise, academic, and multilingual settings. It starts at $9.99 per month for AI detection only and offers some impressive features. But here's what happened when I ran my text through CopyLeaks. No AI content found, 0% AI generated. And finally, I tested two more paid detectors and once again, each gave a completely different result. So across all these tests, from free to paid, from GPT-0 to turn it in, every detector saw the same piece of writing through a different lens. Some said 100% AI, others said 100% human, and a few landed somewhere in between. That inconsistency proves a key point, that AI detection isn't 100% accurate. It's an evolving guess. That naturally raises the question, why do we even use AI detectors and how do they actually differ from humans when analyzing text, especially something written by ChatGPT? Let's break that down step by step. AI detectors exist for one main reason, to verify authenticity and originality. Different industries use them for different purposes. In schools, Teachers use them to maintain academic integrity, making sure students aren't just pasting answers from AI. For publishers and businesses, detectors help ensure content is original and not mass-produced by bots, which also matters for SEO and credibility. In journalism or hiring, they help protect trust and transparency, giving editors or recruiters a signal about whether the writing likely came from a real person. But here's the key point. These detectors don't read like humans do. They rely on mathematical patterns, not meaning. And it's very important to understand how AI detectors work. AI detectors are themselves machine learning models trained on massive data sets of both human and AI generated text. They look for mathematical signs that text might have come from a model like ChatGPT. Here's how they do it. Perplexity. This measures how predictable a piece of text is. ChatGPT tends to choose the most statistically likely next word, making its text too smooth, too predictable, with low perplexity. Humans, on the other hand, are messy. We surprise ourselves, make uneven word choices, so our writing has higher perplexity. Burstiness. This looks at variation in sentence structure. Human writing naturally mixes short, punchy lines with longer, detailed ones. AI often writes in a consistent rhythm. Balanced, but almost too balanced. Linguistic patterns. Detectors also flag repetitive phrasing, overly formal grammar, or robotic transitions. Things that make writing sound polished, but lifeless. And finally, there's watermarking, an emerging technique where AI companies secretly embed traceable patterns in their text, invisible to readers, but detectable by specialized tools. Humans, on the other hand, analyze text through meaning, tone, and experience. We pick up on emotion, intent, humor, sarcasm, or cultural cues, things AI detectors can't measure statistically. 
We recognize voice and personality. We can sense when someone's being genuine, creative, or deeply personal, even if the grammar isn't perfect. But here's the twist. Humans aren't always right either. Studies showed that even expert reviewers can only identify AI text with about 57% accuracy. So both sides have limitations. AI detectors rely on pattern prediction, but lack true understanding. Humans have understanding, but can be biased or easily misled by polished writing. Then, to fix this problem, I went to deep research to find out the best AI humanizers that actually work that need to be paid nothing while comparing the pro version. To humanize AI text, here's what I did first. I tried one of the best free humanizers called freeaden.com slash humanizer. Just open the website, paste your text, and copy the humanized result. After that, I checked it using summarize.org and it showed 100% human. But when I tested the same text with GPT-0 and undetected AI, both tools detected it differently. Sometimes 100% AI, sometimes human. So at this point, you might ask, where can we actually find the best free AI detector? For paid options, I used undetectable.ai, which works as both a detector and humanizer, and it performs well. Another good option is WordPotter AI. But if you're looking for the best free humanizer that can bypass most AI detectors, the one that really stood out is summarize.org. Its humanizer works directly with the built-in detectors. Here's how it works. Go to the website, paste your text, click Detect First, it runs both detectors. And if it says 100% AI, click Humanize AI Content. And then boom, you'll see the result. We are highly confident this text is entirely human. It even gives detailed reasons, such as journalistic style, factual and objective tone, technical broad balance, combining details with wider explanations, informative analysis, academic but still human in tone. That's proof that Summarize.org can humanize AI content effectively. And yes, the free version is powerful. I also tested other tools like Quillbot and GTP Note, but their results varied. Most ranged between 70 and 100% human. Try any of these tools, run your text, and let me know in the comments what result you got, AI generated or human made. Now, let's move on to how to humanize using ChatGPT itself. There are two main methods. The first one uses prompts, and the second one uses plugins. Let's start with the first method, the prompt method. Prompt 1. Write the following text to sound natural, concise, and conversational. Keep the meaning intact, vary sentence length, remove cliches and repetition, and use everyday language. Don't add new facts. Then paste your text right after this prompt. The second prompt is, rewrite this paragraph to sound like a human academic summary. Keep it accurate, shorten long sentences, and avoid too many formal or poetic words. Make it flow naturally and clearly. After running the prompt, copy the output and check it again using a humanizer or detector. If it still reads like AI, try another tool or prompt until it feels natural. The second method uses ChatGPT plugins or public GPT. Open ChatGPT, go to the GPT store, search for a humanizeaiwritingblatado.com, open a new chat, and then ask it to humanize your text. This GPT will process it automatically and return a revised humanized version. And that's how you can review, detect, and humanize AI text using both free and paid tools. Always make sure to review the final version personally before using it in any research or project, because your judgment makes the final difference. In the next video, I'll walk you through a detailed step-by-step -step process on how to manually humanize AI text with real examples. Don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned for that breakdown, and I'll see you in the next video.